you gotta do is FD all these mobs off. Easy. How are y'all doing tonight? My name is Big Bob Boy. This is going to be part two of my more rotten guide. We're going to go take down Rot Grip solo. Now, as always, pathfinding and Hawkeye are great for when you're kiting, but not necessary. Your pet doesn't really matter for this. I'm going to use Snarler just because he's level 59. I had to drop my boar. Now, after we kill Princess, um, Rot Grip can be done, but you can't fight him in the water. I know there a lot of people would do that on private servers, but that's just not a thing in Classic. I tried all different kinds of things, but uh, it didn't work. I tried using loofahs. I tried bouncing them back and forth between me and my pet. I couldn't make it happen. So what you want to do is you actually want to swim past him. So go ahead and mark him up and then swim all the way to this cove. Now be careful you don't aggro him while you're in the water because it's just not going to happen. Fighting him in the water is too difficult. All right, now while rot grip is actually really easy, um, the pool can be a little tricky. It's definitely the most difficult part of doing this. The way I like to do it is I like to get pretty far back and then use Eyes of the Beast to have my pet pool. You want to not aggro some of these mobs here. So we just send our pet in and have him attack rot grip. All right, now we don't want our pet to die, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel Eyes of the Beast. And now I'm in combat. And we bring our pet back, there he is. So now Rock Grip's gonna come follow us. There he is. All right, and then just start shooting him. Um, make sure you have Cheat on, because we're gonna just kite him around here. Now, You've probably done this before, but a common kiting method is I let my pet DPS him. And then I just keep up Serpent Sting and I'll Distracting Shot every now and again. Now you do kind of want to make sure you're not running Rot Grip and your pet through mobs, because if you do, they can aggro. Um, as I'll show, if your pet aggroes all those mobs and dies, it's not a big deal. Um, you can still kill Rot Grip, no problem. Um, it's just going to slow you down. But if you have your pet DPSing him, especially for me as a BM hunter, um, it, it speeds up the kill a lot. I think I, um, if I do it this way, it only takes three or four minutes. If I have to do it all by myself, uh, it's like 12 minutes. It does look like my pet may have pulled some mobs because he is taking damage. I just kite him through Gizlock's room and then back out this way. Um, that way, if he's not dead after a few minutes, um, I'll end up in Princess's room. And you can just kite him endlessly around Princess's room the same way you did Princess. But ideally, he'll be dead before you get to that point. See, he's already down to 40-some percent, and that's mostly just my pet DPSing him. I just hit him with a couple distracting shots. Uh, if your pet has cower, you can do that too. Yeah, it looks like my pet pulled some worms, but that's all right. Rock Rip's about dead here. See, he's already slowing down now because he's taking so much damage. And then you can just FD off any mobs you may have pulled. Or they can resist 
that happens. Toss a grenade, get Cheetah back on, and just kite him again until uh, FD comes back up. If you're not an engineer, um, I don't know what to tell you. Because I do also have the Gnomish cloaking device. <laughs> Killing Rock Grip can uh, really increase your gold per hour if you're getting lucky. Because Gator Bite Axes actually worth quite a bit if you can get lucky with those. So here's an attempt where my pet um, actually aggroed something. If that happens, that's fine. You can just kite them all around Princess's room and it's unlikely that they'll catch up to you. Just kite them around like you did Princess. Once Brock Grip's almost dead, he'll start moving slower than all these other mobs, but that's not a problem. You'll just have to um, start going in a little bit smaller of a circle, and you can always use this for LOS. So, see, we just move a little bit closer in, and we got him, and we didn't get hit. And then once Brock Grip is dead, all you gotta do is FD all these mobs off. Easy. Now obviously it's ideal to just not aggro all the other mobs, but if it happens to you, don't worry about it. You can still kill them. That is all for Rock Grip. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helped you out. I'll see you all next time.